again my friends Merry Christmas and Happy New Year I'd like to welcome you to another video and this is gonna be a special video um, this is gonna be pretty wild I've never seen this before my wife well obviously knows I love Star Trek and on Christmas yesterday today is a day after Christmas and I had opened up a present and I saw what I first I thought was like um, like a scar for a gloves or something and then I actually pulled it out and I looked at it and my goodness, it's the USS Enterprise. Somebody actually crocheted it by hand and <laughs> it's so cool. Um, I can't imagine the work that went into it. They probably had someone that was a Star Trek fan in their life. I had never seen anything like this before. Now I've seen like the plushie, like the pillow one, um, but this one is actually crocheted, and it's the Starship USS Enterprise NCC-1701, just like this lovely lady here, as seen in the original series. So let's take a look at the desk where there's more light and there's more room, and I'll show you guys this really unique Star Trek fan Christmas gift. Okay, so it's Christmas time, and we got a little friend, the little boat that couldn't float from the Island of Misfit Toys from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And on top of him, we actually have Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. And I know the batteries are a little weak, but it's Christmas time. And I wanna show you guys one of the most unique Star Trek gifts I've ever gotten. When I opened this up, I saw the crocheting and I thought it was like gloves or a hat until I realized that <laughs> it was the Starship Enterprise. How freaking cute is that? We got the deflector dish. We got the Bassard collectors. And you can see how they um, kind of ring them out. So we have the starboard and the port, Bassard collectors. And the nacelle pylons. The nacelles, this is the port nacelle and the starboard side nacelle. And the saucer pylon. You can see they got the bottom where the saucer, um, the sensor dome would be. And we have the outer rim of the pilot of the uh, primary hull. And check it out. We got B and C decks and we got the bridge. It's just amazing. All the work that went into this. And then it's stuffed with kind of like a cotton to like almost like a pillow. But coming down to the front, you can see where the uh, deflector dish would be. And this is a different color. This is black. And going into the back, you get the bottom of the secondary hull all the way to where the, the shuttle bay would be. So somebody went through a lot of trouble to do this. I think it's amazing. What I'm thinking is that the person loves Star Trek and somebody put in a lot of work to make them a special and unique gift. And it ended up with me. My wife had seen this and she just, it, due to, because it's so unique, she just thought that I would love it. And she's right. This, this is so cool. It, it's so wild. I love this little guy. Somebody went through a lot of work. And to the Star Trek fan, it was made for. I don't know why they didn't want him anymore, but he's going to a good home. And he's actually going to go on the, on the Trekmas tree. So let's bring him up. We'll put him on a Trekmas tree, and I'll show you his new home. Okay, so we got the little guy in the Trekmas tree. 
It's a little awkward to try to get him into the branches, but this is gonna be his new home. He's gonna be a permanent part of the Trekmas tree. Let's see. He's got a couple of things around him at the bottom. We have the scorpion, and of course, this is from Star Trek Nemesis, the one that Picard and Mr. Data try to fly out of the scimitar. And this is from Captain, uh, from the series Picard. And it's funny because this ship always reminded me of Eddie Van Halen's signature guitar <laughs> from the 80s with the red with the stripes. Let's see. Oh, there's the Kelvin. Of course, the whole Kelvin is responsible, hence the Kelvin timeline. Let's see what else we got around there. Looks like we have the Defiant from Deep Space Nine. And that's got the blinking light on top and on the bottom. Let's see. Of course, we have him. Um, I thought there might have been a little bit more around him. Oh, we have the USS Vengeance. This thing is one of the most, well, badass ships that Starfleet has ever created. This thing is amazing. I wish they had a fleet of those. That's also from the Star Trek, the reboot. Let's see, what do we have over that? We got the, is that the USS Voyager? We have the board cube with the Enterprise NCC 1701A. And we have the Enterprise NCC 1701E. And then we come down and we see our little buddy, the crocheted USS Enterprise NCC 1701. Of course, next year he'll be in a different spot. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put him on first. And if there are any gaps like over there, it'll be perfect. So yeah, he'll go on first and then I'll do the ornaments around him. But my friends, I just wanted to share this wonderful and unique Christmas Star Trek gift with you guys. Somebody went through a lot of trouble to make this and I just wanted to acknowledge him. And I thank my wife for getting it for me and thinking of me for this awesome, unique Star Trek gift. So my friends, until the next video, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.